What's up, happy about paying wins? Today we'll look at the laws of probability, multiplication, and addition rule. If A and B are mutually exclusive, then the probability of A or B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B. If A and B are independent, then the probability of A and B is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B. In P blind smooth seas are dominant to wrinkled, and purple flowers are dominant to white. In a dihybrid cross, what is the phenotypic ratio? First thing, what is a dihybrid cross? A dihybrid cross means that it's going to be two parents that are heterozygous for two different traits. So they'll be heterozygous for smooth as well as being heterozygous for purple. Let's first look at the smooth. So if I was to cross two parents that are heterozygous for smooth, I'm going to find that one fourth of them are going to be homozygous dominant, or there's one fourth chance of the offspring being homozygous dominant. I also see that there's a one half chance that the offspring are going to be heterozygous. So if I want another probability of smooth, I'm going to add one-fourth and one-half, which gives me three-fourths. And then I go back to my Punnett square to figure out that one-fourth of them will be wrinkled. And again, that's the probability of our offspring. So if I wanted to then also bring in the purple flowers, we know both parents are heterozygous for purple. So if we were to cross the two heterozygotes, I find that one-fourth of them are going to be homozygous dominant, so they'll be purple. And then one-half are going to be heterozygous, also purple. So if I want to know the probability of purple in this offspring, I'm going to add one-fourth and one-half, which gives me three-fourths. And then back to my Punnett square to see that one-fourth of them will be homozygous, recessive, or white. But I'm not done, because I need the phenotypic ratio. I need to put both that smooth and the purple together. So we're going to look at these different ratios, and now we're going to use our multiplication rule. So if I want to know the number that are smooth and purple, these are independent events. So probably of smooth was three-fourths and probably of purple was three-fourths. So if I multiply that together, I get nine-sixteenth. If I want to know wrinkled and purple, I look back at and we say, okay, well, wrinkled is one-fourth, purple is three-fourths. Multiply those together and I get three-sixteenth. Smooth and white, smooth is three-fourths, white is one-fourth. Multiply together, you get three-sixteenth. Wrinkled and white, I look and see wrinkled is one-fourth and white is one-fourth. Multiply those together, I get one-sixteenth. So my ratio is going to be 9 to 3 to 3 to 1. If you want to verify that you actually did your math correctly, you could um, add up your numerator and make sure that you, your sum of your numerator equals your denominator. And so 9 plus 3 is 12, plus 3 is 15, plus 1 is 16, so I know that I've done my math correctly. Um, so I want you to pause the video for a second, and I want you to try to do this problem on your own. So in pea plants, we have tall is capital T, dwarf is lowercase t, round seeds are capital R, and wrinkled seeds are lowercase r. If we have a uh, dihybrid uh, plant that is crossing with a um, heterozygous for the tall and homozygous recessive for wrinkled plant, what fraction of the offering are going to be tall and wrinkled? So we have to do the same math again. I'm going to cross the heterozygotes for tall and heterozygous for tall, and I'm going to find that um, three-fourths of them will be tall. Again, we did the one-fourth plus the one-half, which gave me three-fourths. And then if I wanted to cross the um, heterozygous for round with the homozygous recessive for wrinkled, I'm going to find that one half of them are going to be wrinkled. So to figure out the probability of having them tall and wrinkled, I multiply three fourths times one half, which gives me three eighths. Hope this was helpful. Remember, if you have a penguin, just success by all.